version of Kong is a lonelier, older character. That's the thing that was exciting to me about doing this movie was being able to take a character like Kong and say, what happens with time with this character? What happens when the world kind of moves on past him? It's 30 odd years later, Adam wanted to introduce a bigger, older Kong, someone who is sort of street worn. He's been in a few brawls, I guess, with skull crawlers and other creatures that live on Skull Island. Um, in Skull Island, he was a bit of a teenager. This one was really about making him that mature, fully grown adversary for Godzilla. Kong, classically, is always a character who's kind of a romantic type. He always falls in love with the pretty blonde. And in this case, it kind of felt more like what Kong needed wasn't a love interest. He needed sort of a family. And so that's kind of where Gia comes in, is that, you know, Kong's a lonely character, Gia's a lonely character, and they really find each other. There's a real kinship between Gia and Kong that we begin to discover over the course of the film. They both feel like outsiders. The fact that Gia is hearing impaired, so she has to communicate with sign language, this is a new evolution of what we can do with Kong. Finding the right girl to play Gia was an incredible challenge. She's a young, hearing impaired, a iwi girl, and we had to look outside of the traditional channels to find her. And Kaylee Hoddle, who were very fortunate to have cast in the film, had never been in a film before, and Sarah Finn, our casting director, was able to locate her, and the moment we met her, we knew she was the right girl for the part. Kaylee, who's a newcomer, you know, she's a deaf actress, and she's probably the most professional actor I've ever worked with in a weird way. It's really bizarre. Kaylee is number one, a really good actor. She hasn't been on a film set. This is the first time she's done anything like this, and she is as instinctive and brilliant as you could be, given those circumstances. I mean, she really is very talented, so she's incredibly rewarding to work with as an actor. Like, she gives so much. As I've got to know her better, I've realized that she's extremely funny and playful, and she's just a great kid to be around. And so I feel proud to say we have become friends. This is a battle that hasn't been waged since 1962, so it's got to be the most epic battle of all time. Two of these classic monsters are going head to head. That's really so exciting. This has to be the definitive answer to the question, who wins, Godzilla or Kong?